What's up everybody, this is DJ Vlad, CEO of Sneaker Watch. Now last year I started a tradition by choosing my top sneaker pickups of the year. In 2014 I had a top 10 list, but in 2015 I ended up getting a lot more sneakers, so I'm going to do a top 20 list this time around. This video here will focus from number 20 to 11, and then tomorrow we're going to have 10 through 1. So here we go, number 20, boom, the Air Jordan 11 72 10. Now I'll be honest, I was a little bit disappointed with this year's Jordan 11. Compared to the Legend Blues that came out last year and the Gammas that came out the year before, these really don't compare. Now I really like the leather grain quality on these, let me show you here. But what I don't like is the patent leather, glittery patent leather that is, as you can see there. I mean it kind of looks like a Space Jam, kind of doesn't. And then recently they announced that they might be dropping the Space Jams in 2016. So if you're kind of on the fence, I would probably hold off. But at the end of the day, any Jordan 11 is worth checking out. So that's why I added it to the list, even though I put it in last place. Number 19, the Yeezy 950 boot in Pirate Black. Now the 950s, they're not really sneakers, but it is a Yeezy, so I included it in the list anyways. The 950s, to be honest, didn't have nearly as much impact as the low top 350s or the high top 750s. And you could probably still find pairs of these on shelves at certain places. But this is honestly the best colorway of the 950s. It is a very big and bulky shoe. It's pretty hard to pull off in an outfit. But to be fair, the, the fabric is very high quality and the rubber is extremely dense, which definitely gives the shoe a, a uh, you know, like a luxury feel. If you want something for the cold and still want to look stylish, uh, this is pretty much the way you want to go. These came out in October and had a very steep price of $585, which makes this the most expensive shoe that Kanye ever released, which is probably why it's sitting on the shelves in certain places. Number 18, the Air Jordan 13 CP3 player exclusive Hornets. Now this is Chris Paul's own player exclusive from Jordan. Very cool shoe, very different. Um, you know, you see the CP3 logo in yellow on the tongue. You also have the yellow on the bottom, which is a very nice touch. I'm not a huge fan of the blue teal, but this also is what makes the shoe kind of different and kind of stand out. And 13s have always been one of my, you know, favorite Jordan models. So decided to pick this up, very cool shoe, and that's why it is number 18 on the list. Number 17, the Adidas King Push in black. Now I'll be honest, these didn't really have the impact of the white King Pushes. Uh, if you watch one of our other Sneaker Watch videos, you'll see that Mayer did a top list of last year and included the White King Pushes as one of his favorite shoes. The thing with these being black is you don't really see the details come out as much. There's like the fish scale in the back and so forth. Um, you know, I really wonder if people at Adidas knows what this really signifies. Like if you look on the bottom, there's sort of like the Pyrex scale with the whole drug theme that Pusha T is known for. But regardless, it's still a, a special shoe. I believe it has retail of $200, uh, which makes sense for a premium shoe like that. And that's why it's number 17 on the list. Still a very cool pickup. Number 16, the Jordan 1 Fashetta Tan. Now these had a pretty crazy retail. These were $400, which is probably why they weren't more popular. I mean, the Jordan 1 is definitely one of these models that everyone wants, but at a $400 retail price tag, it's a little bit pricey. Now this is a very premium looking shoe. It kind of reminds me of the straps on a Louis Vuitton, you know, this type of really kind of high-end leather. And um, the more you wear these, the more they kind of will have sort of an individual type of look. They'll get a little bit darker. And, um, you know, very cool shoe for light outfits. Not the best Jordan one that Air Jordan put out this year, but still a very cool pickup and like a very high-end kind of luxury shoe. That's why it's number 16 on the list. Number 15 the Nike Hirachi Stingray. These came out on the start of the year. I think they came out January 3rd. And this was actually my first Hirachi that I've ever owned. And once I really started checking it out, it's a, it's a very comfortable shoe. This is a shoe that I like to wear when running errands. You know, kind of a, not super flashy, but still a very cool type of shoe. And like the Stingray material is actually very well done. And it kind of reminds me with what Jordan did with the OVOs. You know, the same type of Stingray. Uh, very cool shoe. 
One of my favorite Hirachis still come out and it's 15 on the list. Number 14, the Air Jordan 4 Oreo. Now this is just a great colorway. Something like this really works with just about any outfit. Pretty much anything you put on, you can put these on and it looks dope. The leather quality of these, the remastered, is actually very impressive. Nike did a great job on these. They came out with a few other colors like the, the white and blue, which I didn't like as much. But this right here is, is great. The retail price on these was $190. And this is what Nike does to kind of cut out the resellers. And honestly, it worked. Still a very cool shoe. And it's number 14 on the list. Number 13, the Nike De La Soul Dunks in low. Originally, Nike released these as high tops. They also released a white version of these in low tops. But in 2015, they switched it up and came out with these in low tops and the white ones in high tops. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the white high tops, but these right here are, are really dope. The leather quality, the brown suede, take a look, is just very, very nice. Just feels like a very luxurious shoe. And if you're a true hip hop fan, De La Soul, Three Feet High and Rising, it's just one of these very classic albums and having a shoe like this as a hip hop person is just great. These came out May 16th and they only cost $125. So this was kind of like the sneaker deal of the year. Um, very, very cool shoe. Number 13 on the list. Definitely cop it if you don't have it already. Number 12, the Adidas ZX Flux. Adidas created a very interesting technology with this shoe. This actually changes color when there is a light. Now we have the light on the camera. Boom, look at this. It's just, it's just different. It's just some other shit. When the light hits this, this turns into a completely different type of shoe. And I really walk around with these and when the sunlight hits them, the, the shoe just lights up. It's, uh, it's really something to look at. And um, you know, it's not my favorite Adidas, but this technology alone really makes it stand out. And this is why I put it at number 12 on the list. Number 11, the Air Jordan 9 Anthracite. Honestly, this is the best Jordan 9 colorway to come out in years. Uh, some other Jordan 9s came out in 2015, the Barons and the Copper Statues. I didn't like them nearly as much. The leather quality on this is great. It doesn't scuff, it looks great, and it's just a very versatile fall and winter shoe. It works with just about anything. It came out in September, the retail was 190 bucks, and you can still pretty much cop it for that. So if you're at all on the fence, definitely get these. The Jordan 9 Anthracite, number 11 on the list. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I will drop number 10 through number one. Stay tuned to Sneaker Watch for all your latest updates on sneaker culture. Peace. I, I mean, more, I've more, had more than a few thousand, more yeah. than, you know, close to a Probably over a hundred thousand for sure. Yeah, definitely over a hundred thousand. Definitely gotcha. over a hundred thousand. But I really, I'm really not into how much it's worth because it's a passion I have, and I never thought that collecting one shoe would turn into 882. All right, 750s black. Uh, Solars, easy twos. Uh, LV the Jasper's Patchworks. Turtle Doves and probably between the 750 grays or the 10 easy ones.